reference places, how do we go about it if we have to make a start? And before the professor says, I can only add, you can come to KSR. <laughs> the purpose of the workshop itself is what you have asked for. <laughs> Maybe that if you attend the workshop and if they do justice for both the works, it is a good beginning. Yes, madam. Yes. You can attend. You will be very happy. You are more Professor Justice, uh, Justice uh, Ranganathan, sir. I have got a question which is not exactly mathematics or ancient Indian mathematics. We have heard one story about the Ramayana that Wali was such a person that whoever fought with him had eventually to lose the battle because one half of the enemy's mind was absorbed by him. Now therefore, one version is that Rama hid and struck Wali because he was afraid to come in front of him because he thought half of his might might go to Wali and he would eventually lose. But the other version is that Rama's prowess was such infinite and anything added to infinity or reduced from infinity is also infinity and therefore this theory that Rama was afraid of Wali is not correct. Is there a mathematical solution that is offered to this? course about the story of Wali, and if you study the Ramayana as such, Valmiki's Ramayana, it is not written that Rama was hidden when he aimed at Wali. So for your information, a friend of mine, M.R. Parameshwaran, who is also a mathematician, he has written two books published by the Manipal University. This misconception about Rama being hidden and aiming at Wali and some other things also about Angela, how he suspected to be and all that. He has uh, given detailed explanation as to how these misconceptions have come and they are not supported by the original text. Our normal mathematics, yeah, what the difference between what is the difference So you will be here, no? You open this college. So you attend this program, you know. Good morning, sir. I'm Raj Gopal. I have a doubt. I don't know whether uh, I'm uh, right in asking that particular question. I understand that there was a mathematician called uh, Mathua Charya of Sankamagrama. And uh, he also somewhere in uh, 12th century or 13th century. And he had established something called uh, the Kerala School of Mathematics and Astronomy. And he was also the proponent of mathematical analysis. Um, I think the same subject is being taught right now in most of the Indian universities at the postgraduate level. I would like to know what um, improvement has been made right from Madhavajarya's time till today, as far well as mathematical analysis is concerned and what are its uh, practical applications. I didn't catch the name you said. They were on the ancient mathematics. Madhava. 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 Of Sangama Grama, which is right now. No, no. I am aware of uh, <laughs> my professor and uh, others have worked on this topic. It is not a question of improving. You see, what were known later to Newton and others, at least 200 centuries later, it was let known to Madhava and others much earlier. Uh, I don't know whether you have some background in mathematics. Are you teaching mathematics? He's a high school. He's a yeah, basically from the IT industry. 
you, you, you know the need for uh, sign, the trigonometric ratio sign. You have no idea. Sign, S I N E. What is it used for? Have you heard about R sign tables and all that? No, but I wanted to answer for my question. My question was that as far as Sangamajarya uh, in uh, Madhavajarya is concerned in Sangamagama, that he came out with something called uh, the mathematical analysis. Okay, and I think... No, you call it mathematical analysis. He did not call it mathematical analysis. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I may call it simply because I know the term. What he did was, for example, some quantity is wanted, you know, pi, for example. What is pi? Have you heard of? Pi is a constant. Do, do you know what it is? Now it is not 22 by 7. That is the problem. Uh, yes. It is the constant ratio of the circumference of a circle to its rate, diameter. Sir, my question is, mm. It is true. Yeah, it is true. And much work has been done much later to him also by one Nilaganta. Actually, people near you have done much on translating one of the works related to Madhava's works. Yukti Basha. <laughs> they have translated into English. Uh, all this is just for our people to know what has taken place. In fact, Madhava does not give a proof. So, M.D. Srinivas' thesis is Upapati is also part of Indian contribution. People thought that Indians were giving things without proof. The criticism was even about Srinivas Ramanujan. And what M.D. Srinivas has done is to expose the word Yukti Bhasha which contains Upapatis for some of the things done by Madhava. Maybe you can give a reference to Yukti Bhasha Trans. Yes. Maybe that may, it may be easier for you to study that. That paper is written by us earlier. Professor M.D. Srinivasan will give his uh, first lecture after this session is over. We can continue with Professor M.D. Srinivasan. I think we can have one more question. If at all there is there. He does not know. Do you know the extraction of square roots and the number? Yeah. Do you know that? You are asking me. Yeah. No, 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 I do not have a background in mathematics. Yeah. Yeah. In school you would have studied the extraction of square roots. Square root. Even here, yeah, numerator. How do you extract square roots? See, things that we have studied in school and college is something different. Like what I have applied later on is something different. But in school, yes. Yeah, but like what I have which was state you study, in school there is a lesson on square root exception. You know, taking... No, but see, I am getting the answer that I wanted to. See, we are not going into the... No, why Sri is telling you is because there is a feeling. In fact, when I was a student, I thought the exception square root was some value by Westerners. My question was... It was too late to learn that it is as old as Arya Buddha, if not earlier. Yes. Like the awesome. well, your, your question is whether uh, modern mathematics has developed on Madhava's uh, mathematical analysis, whatever it may be. Okay. Has today. That's all. So he wants to know whether it has been developed. I think we fell a prey to other civilizations. That is our problem. We have not been original after some time. We were very much original, much earlier, right from the Veda. In fact, uh, Professor Vardhan was telling about infinity and infinitismal. I will tell you the Vakya, Anoraniya Mahato Mahiya. What does that mean? Anoraniya Mahato Mahiya. Anoraniya is infinitismal. Mahato Mahiya is infinity. The only thing is it was in a philosophical context. We just uh, left it to philosophy. It could have been part of mathematics as well. An infinitesimal is that one. 
which is much smaller than what is small you can think about. Similarly about infinity, it is larger than anything which you can assign. The concept was also always there, much earlier. The only thing is we did project simply because, in fact, many disciplines we have been superseded by the Western. For example, take the uh, I mean, case of medicine. Don't you think that allopathy has subsumed most of our medic medicinal system? Now there is a revival. Even then there is, uh, for example, I uh, saw, uh, I mean, an episode in, a, in the TV. There is a claim by one gentleman that cow urine has antiseptic properties. He has done a lot of research. He has processed the thing and he wants to use it in the ICU. The allopathic doctors are against it. You are taking risk, you will kill somebody. Therefore, you should not make the experiment. Some Manipal doctor was making such a remark. The gentleman asked, you are telling that uh, it should not be done. Why do you think so? Because he says, it should have been synthesized and all that according to the modern procedure, only then we can. In other words, he is posing his idea on the other system. And he said, are you aware that research has taken place? Some creative papers will be published. You have not known even that, but you are objecting to it. That I don't know. That is the answer. Therefore, there is some sort of skepticism when it comes to our original contribution. Even now, we ourselves don't believe many, many things whether we were, our forefathers were capable. In fact, we could have uh, continued the work of Madhava and others, if only we had stayed in that, I mean, school of thought. On the other hand, we thought, uh, that was why, we, as uh, Professor Sriram was pointing out, we, have, we always think whatever we studied was given by the Western. Even that has not changed, even now. I have checked up with many students in school, for example, about square root structure. In fact, this made me suggest to the NCRT that they should include in the, at least in the plus one plus two book a chapter on history of mathematics. But unfortunately, though the chapter is there, nobody studies. Nobody studies. May I now request Dr. Kameshwari to thank the dignitaries of the inaugural session. Respected Professor Rangachari, Prof. Vardhan, the President, and uh, the visitors of today's morning program. We are going to have a workshop to clear all these doubts that we are having in our mind, like Mr. Rajagopal. And as a, to initiate that, both the scholars have talked about the history of mathematics, one on Indian mathematics, the other in general. So it gives us an idea that from ancient times we have been having mathematics as part of our life. If you, when you have the classes, you will see that all the, all the examples that we are going to work out as proving some theorem or the other are all practical examples. So in, interestingly, if uh, they are dealing with monkeys or men, they will not have fractions at all. They won't accept it. Bhaskara never accepts an answer in fraction when it comes to monkeys or uh, human beings. So he will never accept a division by fraction there. You have to have the, if it is 22 by 3, you cannot have the proper result. You should keep 22 by 3 and then continue with the mathematical process. So we had that practical applicability as Professor had said. Up to probably 16th century, we had had our own development of this science. After that, we have lost thread with it. Why? How? There are no answers that we have to find out. That is why, why we are opening out this, uh, sem this workshop, so that youngsters in this part of the city, at least, will know, will rather take interest in getting into this field and then probing into the past and try to gain some answer to our questions. That is the aim of this, th this uh, workshop. We have at our back uh, Dr. Rangachari who had been nagging us that we should do something like this. Instead of just producing thesis, we should make it more practical. So we are coming to the Indian way of doing things being practical. Even our philosophy had been practical. Now we have it only in books. 
but the philosophy is ingrained in us and riksha wala also will talk about god and god and a big professor also will be talking about god so that way we had mathematics even on the streets at home everywhere but we have lost touch with it so this workshop will open open out certain ideas to the youngsters because we have uh, gone past the age of uh, rather sitting and working on it these youngsters will have to be instigated to sit and work at these things and find out what had been lost to us and how it was lost to us and professor varadans um, talk today about the other civilizations uh, uh, initiatives into math and mathematics has also thrown open to us new ideas chinese we know about uh, italian numbers and other things chinese and egyptians we have never heard of so all those civilizations will have to be taken into consideration to understand the entire human contribution towards mathematics and the entire human brain work behind this so i thank both the professors for having accepted our invitation and come here to give us an insight into our ancient mathematical systems and we hope from here we will carry on with the other lectures the other lectures are going to be in a sort of introductory things to people youngsters and then there will be classes conducted by three professors and those classes will have to give you the background to develop well into the future later i thank everybody who have come here especially mr madhavan's friend dr mr rajesh ranganathan thank you sir very much for having made it i thank one and all thank you as a mark of our uh, deep respect and appreciation may I request our president to give a memento and uh, honor the honorable guest speaker today professor vardhan with fruits and uh, three of our publications one is sadratna mala on astronomy another is uh, bija pallava and on uh, algebra one is sanskrit and science all our publications now may I request him to honor professor rangachari once again our sincere thanks to all the dignitaries and uh, after you are over with the tea and snacks i think you can start we will start the first lecture today by professor md shrinivas maybe after 5 minutes let them arrange the for the powerpoint presentation and we are we have arranged lunch for all the participants for all the four days please be